Hi, I'm Kevin Hotelling. Earlier today, I wrote a letter to my friends from San Francisco to let them know that this year they had an opportunity to transcend the petty partisanship that has so mired the American political environment. I'd like to share that letter with anyone and everyone interested in seeing real change in America. Dear friends, for those of you that I haven't seen lately, you might primarily know me by my incessant freedom rants found on Facebook. I'm sorry to report that this is yet another, but is one with which I think you'll agree. I've been following John Dennis's campaign for Congress, and I'm confident that our generation desperately needs him. If you're unfamiliar with what he's running on, here's a quick synopsis. He wants to bring our troops home. He wants to end the drug war, to legalize gay marriage, to end don't ask, don't tell, to repeal the Patriot Act, to eliminate bailouts, and to balance the budget. On 9 out of 10 big issues, he takes a stand for the people when his opponent refuses. That opponent, Nancy Pelosi, has been uncontested in her dominion over San Francisco for more than 20 years, thanks only to a special election in 1987 that was won with just 36% of the vote, and to the D next to her name that San Franciscans overwhelmingly lean toward. During this time, she has only participated in one, yes, one debate. She rarely returns to district and spends more time courting special interests and gallivanting with cronies than listening to voters. In the last two years, when other members of Congress were holding town hall meetings, she was racking up $2 million in government-funded, round-the-world travel expenses. It seems that she might also be uncontested in her arrogant disregard for the will and well-being of her constituents. I must apologize for spamming you 19 friends with connections to SF, but our parents' generation is screwing us. Their politicians are stealing our futures, our freedom, and our privacy. It is time that we steal our resolve. And electing John Dennis will be one important step to stopping what can only be described as utter bullshit. Some of you live in district, the rest have friends there. I hope you all will at least check out John's campaign site, johndennis2010.com, and consider sending a similar message to your friends. The time you spend now will be more than repaid. Simply repealing America's arcane drug laws will save us $90 billion and keep 1.8 million of our friends out of the legal system, each and every year. Let's get this done. I hope to see you all at the voting booths and around town. Regards. Kevin. P.S. Even if you've been tricked by the Wicked Witch of the West, I'll still consider being your friend.